All right, guys, so here it is. These are all of the seeds that I planted. Right here is my pumpkin bed. All of these were seeds. White pumpkins, huge pumpkins, max pumpkins. Over here, I planted some watermelons. So they have taken off. And I don't know if you guys remember in a video, I dropped some corn seeds out here. So this is them now. Some of them are coming up just a little bit slow, but they are coming. And a few of them, maybe like two of them didn't come up at all. But these right down through here are coming up real slow. I don't know if they're not getting enough sunshine or what. And, of course, I did stick more melons down in here. I planted some um, Charleston Grays, some Jubilees, things like that. And I don't know if you guys remember my crazy Walmart tomato. This is a piece of it. And this down here is the other piece. I had to find somewhere to stick it because I just didn't want it to go to, go to waste. That's that tomato seed that when I sliced it open, every seed in it had already sprouted. And I took it, stuck it down in some dirt, and these are the results that I have here. So this is the big garden bed. This is it. I'm excited to see where all of these vines are going to grow and what my backyard is going to look like. We shall see. All right, and then back here behind me. Y'all remember this in a previous video, all of this free hay, or this free straw that I got? Yep, I'm about to get ready and put that out. These are these, um, these are my jalapeno. This is my jalapeno bed, and I told you guys that I had stuck some, um, sweet potatoes down in here, and I was going to move them because this was just a temporary spot to hold them, and I've decided to leave them. So this is what they're looking like now. I started putting some straw down one day just to see what it looked like and I stopped. But I need something out here to help me to have to not water so, so much. So that's what I got going on. And over here, this is one of Casey's little beds her tomatoes real pretty they are looking good and these are her bush cucumbers down in here so they're looking good as well and her other bed over here that I said that I did not think that these things were going to grow down in here and she proved me wrong all of her squash and we have harvested some of her lettuce so yeah we've got to come and get some squash we have harvested some of my squash but none of hers so that's her little bed and over here are my tomatoes that I've got to come and clean up. I want to get make sure there are no leaves touching my soil. These cattle panels, they they really help support them real good. Yeah. These are my kooka melons that I stuck out here. another tomato these are my okra seeds my bubba okra seeds that I put out here so they're all coming up
Looking good. These are looking real good. Cucumbers are taking over. Yeah, they have taken over the garden. These over here are the straight eights, and I can't even see down in there right now. So, I'm going to have to come and thin some of this out. But they have absolutely taken over right here. Whew. I see some tomatoes down in there starting to bloom starting to come to and this wind has ugh, I got some staking I gotta do with this one I'm probably gonna need some um, some string for this one but I can see a lot of them down in here we are going to have a lot of tomatoes. When I was um, dropping these seeds, I just did not want to throw anything away. So I planted all of my stuff. I'm just going to have to try to make some room for it. And um, my grapes are down in here. Y'all, these cucumbers are off the chain. I got a grape plant down in there that it's not going to get any sun down in here. Nothing's going to grow on it down there. This one right here. Look at that. Oh, look here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and then I got some cucumbers. Yeah, see these cucumbers, y'all. I don't think they're gonna let my my grapes shine. So they are everywhere. The cucumbers are. These are the Boston picklings over here on this side. But these things are. They ain't playing. They are not playing. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today, but I'm gonna to try to take you guys with me so you can see and not have this video so, so long. But I need to get my grapes out of here. This is what it's looking like. It's looking good, but they are taking over. More cucumbers, more beans I've got growing over here. Okra, put the okra down here and the beans up against the trellis, so we shall see. And that wind just came through here and tore up these um, potatoes. And over here is my squash bed. We have already harvested some of the squash. But I want to say this is going to be my last year doing squash because the fungus is among us when it comes to the squash I just can't the powdery mildew I just I just don't want to deal with it I mean that's just me guys I just don't feel like it I mean it's hard to keep that I've actually cut some you know cut these back a few days ago with the fungus and it's right back on here so and I don't feel like spraying it every time it rains here my lemons they just got beat to death too so it knocked a lot 
of the blooms off down here and guys we still have this plastic down um i don't know if i want to leave this down here or if i want to get me some stones to lay in between to help keep the grass down but right now this black plastic is doing its job and my onions y'all i'm struggling with these onions I just don't know what to do. Does it matter if they're standing up or not? Are these going to bulb? Looks like they're trying to. I gave them a boost of um, bone meal and blood meal. I don't know if I should mulch these or not, but I'll do some research and see, but if you guys have some ideas, let me know. Drop me some comments down on what you think I should do. This stuff has really taken off on me out here. Oh, and I've also added one more bed. I got to fill it up with some soil. Um, my black cow, my black cow and my uh, Kellogg's garden soil this stuff got some odor to it and of course I have all of these um, collard green seeds that I am going to harvest and let them dry give some away and keep some for myself but as you can see I have plenty of them Plentiful. Yep, my um, bell peppers here. That's that blonde bell pepper I wanted to try. So I'm going to see what that's going to do. These are, they're starting to step up down here. Green bell peppers. I planted some radish. Radish, these are some yellow radish. Golden radish, I can't remember the name of them that are right here. So, but this video right here is already at what 10 no, 12 minutes I'm sorry so what I'm gonna do is just cut this in half right now and tomorrow I'm gonna come out and put the hay down or straw down I'm sorry guys I don't know what y'all call it but or what we should call it but these are coming up these zucchinis are coming up I got to get my grapes moved because they're not getting any sunlight and they are trying to grow me some grapes so I'm excited about that um, let's see a nice size cucumber right over here okay so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this video right here where it is and I'll come back out tomorrow and um, give you guys some update some updates on you know what what I'm gonna do next but whoo yeah so until next time guys y'all stay safe and grow something take care